Keep Sydney Open vows to continue its fight against Mike Baird's lockout laws after Premier's resign. We've got bad news for anyone hoping to celebrate NSW Premier Mike Baird's resignation with an all-nighter in Sydney's party district. Partygoers rejoiced on Thursday morning when the man dubbed Casino Mike for his unpopular lockout laws in Kings Cross, Darlinghurst, and CBD, and decision to make gambling den the star exempt, announced his impending departure from state parliament. But the legacy of Mr. Baird's impact on the Harbour City's nightlife is unlikely to be erased any time soon. The laws his government enacted in 2014 will remain in place when he leaves Macquarie Street, with the tweaks brought in last month the only sweetener. As part of a two-year trial intended as a compromise with anti-lockout campaigners, the 1.30 a.m. lockout curfew was moved to 2 a.m. and last drinks from 3 a.m. to 3.30 a.m., with bottle shop and home delivery alcohol sales extended from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. across the state. Easing the lockout laws was one of the key recommendations of an independent review into the legislation overseen by former High Court Judge Ian Callanan, but many music-loving Sydney siders believe it is not enough. The controversial reforms, brought in after the death of one-punch victims' teenagers Thomas Kelly and Daniel Christie, have reduced assaults but have been blamed for decimating Sydney's nightlife. Lobby group Keep Sydney Open is set to host another massive rally in King Cross this Saturday with flight facilities Jing, and organizers have seized on Mr. Baird's resignation as fuel for their cause. Premier Mike Baird's resignation as Liberal Party leader creates an opportunity for the NSW government to revitalize Sydney, the group posted on Facebook. We want to prove the potential this city has to be a fun, cultural and safe place for all of us. Today Mike Baird said it's time to refresh and reset. We agree. Let's all seize this opportunity for change. The group stated that it had hoped Mr. Baird's resignation would be a constructive partner in there who would pursue smart policy that could make Sydney both vibrant and safe, but that he had never pursued that goal. While the greatest cities in the world continue to respect nightlife and enjoy innovative nighttime safety strategies, Mike Baird refused to consider these examples and instead believed only in the blunt instrument of a curfew, the Post read. Under Premier Baird's lockout laws Sydneysiders have seen the city's international reputation tarnished and its vibrancy, energy, and positivity diminished. Inner city small businesses have been devastated and crashing gate receipts for music and performance in the state of NSW threaten the future of the cultural life of the state. The group called on the NSW government to reconsider the lockout laws, saying it had an exciting opportunity before it. Sydney is ready to be revitalized with smart solutions to guarantee fun, culture, economic opportunity and safety for all of us. We are ready to work with the new leader of the government to achieve this. Dana. McCauley at news.com.au